I'm John DePietro. There was a crime this past weekend, and the police were looking for a suspect that assaulted one girl by punching her in the face, a young college student, and he actually groped her friend. But when the media published who the police were looking for, what was the description that the media put out? They put out that the police were looking for a man, a six foot three man who weighed 220 pounds, muscular build, and he happened to also have short, dark hair. Well, I checked with the police and found out that in the police report, they were actually looking for an African American man. What is happening right now with the media? Just put out exactly the information the public can use to find the suspect. If he's white, just say it was a white man. If he's Latino, just say it was a Latino man or an Asian man. Or in this case, they were looking for a black man. There's another story in the media. Three men robbed a bank and escaped in a car. Then I found out it was actually three Mexican men and they escaped in a blue BMW. Don't you think that might make it easier to find the suspects? What is going on here? Who's given the descriptions? Helen Keller? When there's a silver alert, they don't say there's an 80-year-old woman missing. We get her name. We get a picture of her, how big she is. Why? Because we want to find her. The same should go with suspects involved with crime. If it's a black male the police are looking for, say it's a black male. If it happens to be a Mexican man, Latino, whatever it may be, tell the public and then let the political correctness go by the side. I'm John DePietro, and I tell it like it is.